uh, a big storyline recently is Peyton Jordan. <laughs> how much has, you know, how much does she mean to the program in, in every game on, on a daily basis, in particular the last couple, just week in, in general? Uh -huh. Peyton's just been someone that you can count on. Um, she comes to work, she works on our craft uh, every day in the bullpen, so it's been exciting to see her years of, uh, I guess, extra effort, uh, loving what she does. Um, it's just been a real joy to, it, she's shown a lot of success this year because of this. At this point in the year, uh, as you get further in, in the conference season, how do you feel the team, uh, progression-wise, has come along now in the middle of this homestand as well? Uh, team culture is great right now. We're competing every day at practice. We're pushing each other at practice. But we're also supporting the ladies that are on the field even when we're in the dugout. So team culture has been an important uh, push for us this year. And uh, I think it's really relevant as we compete in this long CAA season. Uh, I know we chatted a little bit about it last year in Military Appreciation Day. Mm -hmm. you know, it's coming up and you guys have special jerseys for it too. You know, what does that mean for you and what does, what does it mean to have that for the program each and every year? And it's an important thing. Mm -hmm. Certainly I grew up in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, so I have a huge appreciation for our armed services. And uh, both, both parents of mine were in the military. So I think there's a lot of connection on our team with the military. So I think it's real important that we show our gratitude and appreciation towards those people. I mean, they do an incredible job serving our country. And with Peyton's performance yesterday and today, uh, easy to overlook the offense today. You know, four runs, but still ten hits. Uh, what was your, your impressions uh, of what the offense did today? There's a lot of left in the toolbox, I think. Um, you know, our hitters, they want more. They, they work to get more. So they were a little bit disappointed in their efforts today. But I think that, you know, we'll get right back to work on Tuesday, prepare for ECU on Wednesday.